Hi, so this is the uh, a video on completing the square. It's going to be form part of the playlist on uh, the YouTube channel and it's going to deal specifically with a couple of completing the square uh, type of applications. And my plan is, is to work through a number of the GCSE questions so I'll give you some idea of how we would use completing the square. Uh, I'm going to write the GCSE questions on the description underneath the video and also you can have a look at mathsrap.co.uk. There will be a quick test on there and you'll be able to download and have a go at some of these questions for yourself. Completing the square is another way of factorising or solving equations. Um, and it's a way of working out the values of x for a quadratic equation. Uh, it also has quite a good use in sketching quadratic um, graphs as well and in future videos that I will post something about that. Um, it is slightly different to normal factorising, it's looking at the quadratic equation in a slightly different way. So I'm going to give you an example of a typical uh, GCSE question at this sort of level. Um, this is um, the quadratic equation is x squared plus 6x plus 20 and we're asked to write it in the form of x plus p squared plus q. Okay, now this is the formula or the, the way in which we would write um, completing the square um, equivalent um, formulas to this quadratic formula. So um, the way that it's quite useful to do is if you write it uh, like this. So you'd write x squared plus 6x plus 20 and it's equivalent. So if you use three lines it's equivalent to the form of this which is going to be x plus p squared plus q. Okay, so the, the rule is, or the, the way to deal with something like this, is to look at uh, this as a squared term. So the first thing is, is that we've got this x squared plus 6x. So x squared, well, as um, x squared is x times x, then we can put x into there, because x squared is going to be x squared. The next thing that we do is we look at the next term and we halve it. Okay, so firstly we look at the sign and it's positive and then we look at 6x and we halve that and we write that as 3. Okay, so what I've got now is a term like that and I'm going to um, factorise that out and it will give me um, partially this. You'll see what I mean. So um, if I look at x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3 then what I've got is x times x which is x squared and then I've got um, plus 3x so I've got x times x is x squared plus 3x plus 3x again and then I've got plus 9 so in other words, I'm in a position where I've, I've kind of partially got my x squared plus 6x because if I tidy that up, I've got x squared plus x, 6x plus 9. Well, that's a little bit tricky, isn't it? Because I've kind of got part of it, but I've got this positive 9 at the end. So what we do when we're completing the squares, we look at this positive 9 and then we take it away. So at the moment I've got positive 9 and I'm going to take that away to minus 9 and that effectively, if I take 9 away from there, it means I'm left with x squared plus 6x which is this bit. Okay, so x squared plus 6x I can deal with, I now have the positive 20 to add to the end, so I add positive 20 to the end. So the equivalent is, if I just tidy that up, um, x plus 3 squared, and I've got minus 9 plus 20, is positive 11. 
And that would answer my question. That will give me a value of P as equal to 3 and a value of Q as equal to 11. OK, so the steps are that when you're writing things as completing the square, when you're writing the equivalent completing the square, you need to look at the first value as um, x squared, um, and we take out the x, and then the second value we halve. So we put that into brackets and we square those brackets. And then the simplest way, and really, um, once you get used to doing it, you should be able to work out quite quickly uh, the bit that's left at the end. Um, when you look at these sorts of um, equations, you should be able to work out that you're going to be left with 3 times 3. So therefore, you take that amount away, and then you add on the bit that's left. So if it's by taking the amount away, you're left with x squared plus 6x in this particular case, and then we're going to add on the final 20 at the end. Okay, so this whole area is called completing the square. Um, there's going to be quite a series of um, YouTube videos on this particular um, type of work and what we can do with this way of looking at equivalent equations. Uh, it's a very powerful tool, it's very, very helpful, and uh, I will write a post as well on mathsrap.co.uk. Please do have a look at that, um, and also download the quick test and have a go at some of these questions, just to get used to this whole idea of halving and also um, taking away the bit that's left and then adding the bit that you need to require. You will get used to it fairly quickly. Um, I hope that's okay and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Oh, please subscribe as well. <laughs> Thank you.